Good afternoon. It's the 18th of February 2021, 4.48pm. Uh, um, I've got some good news to share with you. Uh, two wonderful things happened in the last two days. Uh, yesterday, I saw on Facebook Marketplace some vintage lights and I've been wanting to finish off getting lights for every room of this house and the outside, you know, the front entry and the back entry. I've yet to put oh, <coughs> this one up at the back. There's a terrific storm coming at the moment, which will oh, be a relief. It's been so hot today. But um, I, I'm sort of whimsical, whimsically amused because my focus has been on for the last week on getting, or last few weeks, on getting a um, no interest loan scheme loan for a, um, a self-propelled lawnmower. And I was so frantic, I even had a GoFundMe up, but I didn't get any donations to that. And I've taken it down today because the good news was I received a phone call this morning saying that um, the charity that organised that is finalising the paperwork today and I should have the loan by the 24th of February, which is, I think, Thursday next week, which means that my lawnmower is coming. Yay! Because it stressed me out of my mind and I stressed my friend Lynn as well. And Lynn had to help organise a man to come to mow the lawns for me um, a week ago, uh, yeah, a week ago, it was last Thursday. And meanwhile, I was like freaking out because I hadn't heard back from the charity. So I didn't know what was happening with my loan. So I've been eating my liver for a whole week. And then it turned out to be a miscommunication with paperwork and they needed some more documents. And the, the quote, the formal quote hadn't gone through from the company I'm buying the lawnmower from. So it was just, you know, round and round and round on a groove and I was going quietly insane. But I'm laughing because yesterday um, I saw this ad for these beautiful little vintage glass um, light fittings and I got five of them for $20, which is, <laughs> you know, dirt cheap. It was just a bargain and I was thrilled. And I told the lady, I said, I'm just thrilled. So I've got a light out the front and a light in the hallway now. I don't know if you can... Oh, I've got a shot to you. Might as well get to show you the thing. thing. So, it's a delightful. So, um, <laughs> and I hung this one up in the meantime. I've got to get up and take the blue one down. Jared bought me the lovely blue one. But I think that the little frilly one will look prettier in the lounge. And I'll put the blue one somewhere else. So anyway, there was all that excitement over light fittings. And then it hit me. My focus has been on sorting out... Oh, excuse me, I just had an ice block repeating on me. Pardon me. My focus has been on <laughs> sorting out my grass. And yesterday I received glass. So if I have a little bit of class... I might manifest something else with the G word, I don't know, glass, grass, what goes up, gloss maybe, anyway, it's quite funny how there the was sort of a little bit um, of synonyms and two things got fixed at the same time, because the, the, the interesting thing was I had a manifestation for about two years to get these vintage lights and the last one that was bought for me was that lovely blue one in the bedroom by my friend and that was two years ago uh almost two years ago so i'd given up on worrying about you know vintage lights too much you know sort of had a vague look at them you know a few few months ago but nothing nothing no urgency or anything to get them and then they literally landed on my lap so unexpectedly and it's such a reasonable price so it's proof that when the universe is ready to um to bless us with what what's called flow the flow state 
it uh, it blesses us. So, and I was so worried about this lawn mowing situation. It's caused me so much distress because I've had so many unpleasant experiences getting lawn mower tr contractors. The last one, the last man was actually a very gentle, quiet person, but he just ghosted me and quit. Didn't tell me he'd quit, so that left me high and dry. And it's just you know that kind of level of disrespect really that I find um, frustrating when people that you employ to do things around the house. So anyway, after he ghosted me, um, I thought, well, you know, at least he wasn't nasty and creepy like the guy before him. Uh, not the guy before him, but the guy, my regular mower that I had for five years. He just went so creepy and inappropriate. So I thought, well, I haven't had any awful experiences like that, but I just think it's better if I mow my own lawns and then I'm in charge of my own domain and the lawns can get done more regularly because I'm here to do it and <clears throat> I won't be paying as much money as I would be if I was paying private contractor. I certainly couldn't pay them to do it every week because I was getting them fortnightly. So, black skies, it's coming. But anyway, I um, my, my glass, my glass, vintage glass is sorted out and my grass is sorted out and I'm really, really thrilled and grateful that the charity came through with the loan for me because, you know, I've got to pay it off over 12 months. So it's still going to be, you know, um, an added expense, but that's okay because the grass has to be mowed regardless of who does it. So, and it means I can stay in my home um, a bit longer or as long as possible and not get shoveled out of my home and um, I'm happy with that resolution. Solution? Resolution? Solution. So I'm very happy. Um, today I went out and bought like fruit and veg. Didn't buy much in the way of vegetables but I bought potatoes and uh, tomatoes and I bought some pineapples and some watermelon which reminds me I must give some watermelon to Charlie and yeah anyway I just wanted to share my good news with you that instead of me whining about my you know very fraught existence most of the time I finally have some really good news you know so I'm thrilled about that and uh, yeah, I'm just sitting here in the air conditioning that was bought for me by my beautiful benefactor. And I'm just, yeah, keeping cool because it was a very, very hot day today. Um, yeah, I made a few pendants, but I'm not very happy with how they turned out because they it involved, like, there was ceramic porcelain pendants that I'd cut out and you've got to put copper tape and then solder it and the soldering didn't look nice it hasn't worked out very well so i don't know what to do i may have to pull it off and do it again till i get it right so but anyway i'm learning that that took most of this morning up actually from nine o'clock till two i was working on that and so i made three pendants and i'm learning and <sighs> so frustrating because I'm so behind the eight ball on everything, on everything other people are achieving at my age. Most people are retiring after a lifetime of working and having achieved financial success and I'm just struggling to make a few pendants and worrying about mowing my lawns. It's a bit, um, it's a bit weird, but anyway. Uh, yes, so the storm's very imminent now, it's getting closer. And um, I'm grateful for that because it was a scorching hot day today. So I'm glad I managed to get some food. And tonight I'll cook maybe a nice... I bought some 500 grams of beef stir fry and noodles. So I'll have that with vegetables. That'll be nice. Because um, yesterday I did a naughty thing and only ate, I ate a whole packet. I had it for breakfast, lunch and tea a whole package of chicken chippies that I cooked in the air fryer. That's all I had was chicken yesterday, no vegetables, no nothing. 
so it was very naughty. So today I promised myself I would eat a bit better and have a proper vegetables and a proper meal and uh, yeah, eat healthier. And also because I've got a little bit of an extra expense with the mowing, I'll have to be more careful about yeah, not eating so much junk food or takeaway or I don't normally eat takeaway. I've been good, but I sort of slipped back, back slid a bit in the last few weeks, probably with the stress and worry. Got into some bad habits again, so I'll have to knock that off because A, it's expensive, and B, it's really not good for your body, you know, eating junk. But I enjoyed those chicken chippies. I really did. Today I bought... Um, a big packet of spring rolls which is also not good for you because of all the oil but I just seem to be craving like fried food it's really quite nuts but anyway I won't be eating the spring rolls in one sitting so in one day so that's okay uh, what else can I tell you <sighs> yeah nothing. had a quick walk around the block with Bobo and Charlie didn't see my neighbour today, like they didn't come out to say, you know, hello, or whatever, but I had a cuddle with their little dog, Coco. So that was nice. And yeah, life's pretty good. I'm just like, just relaxing. So, but yes, I wanted to share my good news. The Tanya, the psychedelic dreamer, has, with the, with, with the help of Earth Angels, again, has managed to get her needs met, which is, you know, get the, a really good quality lawnmower and be able to maintain my grass, my lawns. So, very grateful to the Holy One and the humans that have been of assistance to me and, you know, the angels and all beings of love, light and truth. And uh, yeah, I'm back on my I'm back on my perch again, I think. So hopefully I'll have a good clear run of things for the next 12 months. So I can keep the lawns under control, pay off the lawnmower, and then yeah, hopefully life gets better and better and better. I'm looking forward to going dancing again. We haven't got rid of the mandates here in Queensland yet, but. All the other states are starting to, you know, get rid of the mandate. So I'm even thinking I might be able to go dancing in a few weeks or months again. That'll be nice. Although I probably will have to be a bit cautious because, you know, Omicron is still around and I'm not vaccinated, so I'm more at risk. But, oh well, we'll see how I feel when the time comes, when they release when they relax the um, restrictions and in the meantime my house is my little castle I've got everything in order even down to the the uh, vintage lighting um, I would like I'm thinking because housing commission won't paint they just keep ignoring me when I ask them to paint my house I'm thinking I might actually buy paint and paint myself you can't tell that the walls are really grotty and dusty and they just need a good clean and a good lick of paint. So I might actually start doing that, I don't know, when I can afford paint. Um, but first I'll focus on getting my lawnmower paid off, that's more important. So there we have it. Success at Sacred Space. Bye for now.